week. Blessings to you. I hope you are having a wonderful week. What are some of the ways that you mark Holy Week? What are your practices, traditions, things that you do to center yourself in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ? Let me tell you one of mine. So when I was a child, our grandmother, my more and more, she would come and spend the week with us, and she would participate in the life of the congregation with us as well. And then after Good Friday service was over, she took us out for ice cream. Yep, ice cream on Good Friday. So I was kind of odd looking around the ice cream parlor and looking at people, but it was what we did every year. Reminded me of it. Uh, here you can see at St. Paul we've set up some of the prayer stations that we use on our Monday Thursday service. Uh, we have a place right here where you can light a candle and offer a prayer or an icon where you can sit and contemplate and look at the passion and enter the story in a different way. Um, how about you? What are your favorite ways of marking this time? I mean, one of the things that's so awesome about being a follower of Jesus is as central as this time is for us, it, right in the heart of the story. Um, we practice it in a lot of different ways. There's a lot of diversity in what we do, and that's kind of a neat thing. So I offer to you this Holy Week to engage your congregation, get involved, do the things there, uh, participate, mark the time. Uh, think about those traditions or things that you do to help engage in it and share that with somebody else. Uh, as for me, I'm sure Friday, after I get home, I'm going to have a scoop of ice cream and think of my more and more. Peace be with you. Happy Easter early, and God be with you in these sacred days.